Good day, everyone, and welcome to another exciting vocabulary lesson. This is Mr. Stitt, and this is week 12 vocab words for my seventh grade students. Here is a list of the words. Hideous, statesman, firelock, phantasm, baron, and insignia. So let's jump into the first word this week. The first word is hideous, and this is an adjective, so you have probably heard this word before, and it means horrible or frightful to the senses, repulsive or very ugly. Now this image, I apologize, I don't mean to shock you, but when I saw it, I definitely thought of hideous. Unfortunately for this person, they are very hideous. They are frightful to the senses, they're repulsive, they're very ugly. Now a person doesn't always have to be hideous, but artwork can be hideous, a car wreck can be hideous, anything that is shocking or revolting to the moral sense. Someone's personality can be very hideous if they are known to lie or steal. It can also be something very distressing or appalling, like if a tree fell on your house after a hurricane, that would be very hideous. Synonyms of this word would be appalling, awful, disgusting, frightful, monstrous, nasty, ugly, and terrifying. Hideous. The next word this week is statesman. You're also probably very familiar with this word if you've ever watched the news. The statesman is a noun, so it's a person. It's a person who is experienced in the art of government or versed in the administration of government affairs. A person who exhibits great wisdom and ability in directing the affairs of a government or in dealing with important public issues. Oftentimes, especially in the old days, statesmen were seen as very noble and honorable people. They used to have a great deal of more of morality where they would fight for the people and they would make laws that would benefit the citizens that they served. Nowadays, unfortunately, that's not always the case. Not every statesman or stateswoman is very honorable. But when we use the word statesman, the true definition is someone of great honor who is elected by the people to serve them. Now, synonyms of this word would be lawmaker, politician, or legislator, statesman. The next word this week is firelock. Firelock. And this is a noun. And a firelock is a gun having a lock in which the priming is ignited by sparks struck from the flint and steel, as in a flintlock musket. So a firelock is a very, very old uh, form of firearm. It was usually a handheld device, but not always was it handheld. Sometimes this mechanism here, this fire lock, was on a rifle. So it didn't always have to be a short handgun, but sometimes it was an extended rifle. Synonyms of fire lock are gun, firearm, or weapon. A fire lock. The next word this week is phantasm. Phantasm. And this is a noun, so it's a thing. It's something that you uh, have that happens. So uh, a phantasm is an apparition or a specter. That's a fancy, fancy word for the creation of an imagination or fancy, a fantasy of some kind. So I put this image here because I feel like a phantasm is usually something very magical and mysterious. Beautiful colors are involved. I put this uh, image of uh, the moon, because a phantasm is also known as a mental image or representation of a real object, an illusory likeness of something, like a dream. Many of you have had positive phantasms when you've gone to sleep and you've dreamed of wonderful things, but you can also have a very negative phantasm, which would be a nightmare. So, synonyms, dream, fantasy, mirage, nightmare, shadow, or vision. Phantasm. The next word this week is baron, a baron, and this is a noun, so it's a person, and it's a member of the lowest grade of nobility in Britain. So I just put this image here because I like cats, and I feel like it represents, in my mind, what a baron used to be. If you think of old English stories or old English movies, the very rich person with the top hat and the monocle on their eye dressed in fancy clothes would be known as a baron. And a baron is an important financier or industrialist, especially one with great power in a particular area. So in American history, barons of business or barons of industry were known as people like John Rockefeller or Andrew Carnegie, these old school guys who had lots of money and helped build America. 
But synonyms of baron would be aristocrat, lord, wealthy person, or well-to-do person. Famous people today that might be known as barons would be people like Bill Gates, or maybe uh, an entrepreneur and artist like Jay-Z, who's pioneered an industry and made lots of money, but also contributed greatly. The next word this week is insignia. Insignia. Now, you may have seen many insignias without knowing that the word that names it is insignia. If you look at these two crests, these are famous in the Harry Potter series. An insignia is a badge or distinguishing mark of office or honor. So these are famous crests from the Harry Potter series. This represents the House of Gryffindor, and this overall represents the school known as Hogwarts. And it's a distinguishing mark or sign of anything. My college, the University of Central Florida, had a beautiful insignia. It was the crest of the school, and it was in the shape of a beautiful pegasus. It almost looked like a circular pegasus or a mythical horse type creature. And synonyms of insignia would be badge, coat of arms, decoration, regalia, symbol, or crest. Insignia. Well, thank you so, 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 so much for joining us this week. We learned six fantastic words. Hideous, statesman, firelock, phantasm, baron, and insignia. Please feel free to watch this video again if you are confused about any of the words. And like always, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!